Biomes are collections of living organisms, all of which have evolved to exist in a specific climate. In the broadest sense, there are five main types of biome. Tundra, forest, grassland, desert, and aquatic. In the late 1940s, the botanist Leslie Holdridge developed a matrix which included temperature and precipitation and led to the further specification of each of these main categories. In this guide, we'll discuss 11 types of biome, where they're found, and the animals that abide within. Let's dive in. Tundra accounts for around 10% of the Earth's landmass. It is characterized by extremely low temperatures and low amounts of precipitation. The harsh conditions on the tundra do not facilitate the growth of trees, and in the summer months when the ground isn't frozen, it is blanketed with colorful mosses, lichens, and grasses. There are three main types of tundra. Arctic and Antarctic tundra are created due to their latitude, whereas Alpine tundra is created due to its altitude. Arctic tundra sits between the Arctic polar ice cap and a strip of boreal forest known as the Tiger Belt. Temperatures on the Arctic tundra range from 4 degrees C in the summer to minus 32 in the winter, producing perennially frozen ground known as permafrost. Only 48 species of land mammal inhabit this barren region, and many animals here either migrate south or hibernate to counter the long winter months. Some of the largest primary consumers on the Arctic tundra include the giant muskox and the reindeer. Reindeer, who are known as caribou in North America, gorge on the layers of moss and lichen and will also venture further south into the boreal forest. The muskox is one of the few species of megafauna to survive prehistoric hunting by adapting to the Arctic region where humans did not typically abide. Other primary consumers include Arctic hares and lemmings, both of whom are preyed upon by the tundra's infamous carnivores. Arctic foxes, wolves and polar bears are some of the predators who roam the tundra in search of prey. The Arctic wolf is found on Canada's Queen Elizabeth Islands. They are a smaller subspecies that exhibit white fur to aid with camouflage. Polar bears are the largest species of bear, weighing up to 1,500 pounds. They are found solely in the Arctic between the sea ice and the tundra, where the majority of their diet is made up of seals. Many species of bird, such as snow geese, ducks and loons, make the long migratory trek north to take advantage of the tundra's short growing season. Not all species of bird here are migratory. The tundra's most well-known predatory bird, the snowy owl, will stay year-round to feast on lemmings, voles, hares and other species of bird. The snowy owl is one of the largest species of owl, with a wingspan of up to five and a half feet. The conditions on the Antarctic tundra are very similar to that of the Arctic, with many species of lichens and mosses gifting colour to the often bleak landscape. The Antarctic's most famous inhabitants are seals and penguins, the latter of which use the pack ice and tundra to breed. The king penguin is the second largest species of penguin and are found on the islands surrounding Antarctica. They can be seen both on land and fishing in the frigid waters while dodging leopard seals. Alpine tundra is found in the extreme mountainous regions of every continent, with the exception of Antarctica. Although the conditions here are similar to the Arctic, the Alpine is treated to a milder summer and a longer growing season of around six months in comparison to the Arctic's too. In addition, improved drainage leads to higher soil quality and spectacular flowery meadows in the summer months, which can reach a balmy 12 degrees C. Many of the animals here boast impressive climbing skills used to traverse the many cliffs and ice fields of the Alpine. Mountain goats are found exclusively in the mountain ranges of the western US, Canada and Alaska and spend most of their day grazing in high altitude alpine meadows. In addition to wolves and bears who will also venture above the tree line, the Alpine's most elusive predator, the snow leopard, roams the tundra in search of goats, sheep and smaller mammals such as pika and vole. These beautiful felines are found only in the mountainous regions of East Asia, including the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau. Their conservation status is currently listed as vulnerable due to poaching and habitat loss. Like the Arctic, migratory birds also visit the alpine tundra during the summer months, feasting on a buffet of insects and plant life. Several species of bird remain year-round, including the golden eagle, whose wingspan can reach close to 8 feet. These majestic creatures use the alpine's strong winds to soar above the open plains in search of small mammals such as marmots. Thanks to the slightly more hospitable conditions in the alpine, 
There are also many species of insect who enjoy the tundra, including butterflies, beetles, and grasshoppers. Where tundra is characterized by a complete lack of trees, forest biomes are defined by them. These densely vegetated areas make up around 40% of the world's landmass and are split into three main types, boreal, temperate, and tropical. These classifications can be fairly accurately defined by latitude. A band of boreal forest sits beneath the tundra, followed by a strip of temperate forest further south. Tropical forests sit in the world's equatorial regions and make up the largest portion of the world's forest at around 45%. Also known as snow forest or taiga, the boreal forests increase precipitation and lack of permafrost allow for the growth of spectacular evergreen trees. The trees in this biome are mostly coniferous. Instead of leaves and flowers, they bear needles and cones, which do not shed at the end of the summer, hence their evergreen moniker. The primary consumers of the boreal forest are dominated by species of deer, including moose, elk, and roe deer. Moose are located almost entirely in the taiga, their range extending only slightly further south into temperate forests where they struggle with the heat. Wood bison are found in the forests of northwestern Canada and Alaska. These gigantic creatures can reach almost 2,600 pounds and stand up to 11 feet tall, making them the largest terrestrial animal in North America. Although rare, by far the most terrifying creature to roam the snow forest is the Siberian tiger. These incredible predators are found exclusively in Far Eastern Russia and Northeastern China and are the largest of the felids weighing upwards of 600 pounds. Another family of wildcats adept at traversing the snowy terrain are lynx of which two species inhabit boreal forests. The Eurasian lynx, who occupy much of northern Eurasia, and the Canada lynx, who roam the forests of Canada and Alaska in search of snowshoe hares. Brown bears are also found in this biome throughout much of Canada, Alaska, and northern Eurasia. There are many small mammals that thrive in the taiga, including beavers, martens, otters, stoats, and mink. Beavers are semi-aquatic mammals who build dams with vegetation and rocks to provide shelter. These dams are so pivotal to the ecosystems in which they exist, beavers are thought of as a keystone species, those who have a disproportionate effect on their environment. Although downright adorable, stoats are voracious predators of the boreal forest, known to decimate populations of birds and other small mammals such as rabbits. There are roughly 32,000 species of insects in Canada's boreal forests alone, which make quite the feast for the birds, which include great grey owls, great horned owls, ptarmigans, woodpeckers, and the Canada jay. Amphibians and reptiles do not fare well in the taiga's frigid climate, although some do exist, including the wood frog and the boreal charis frog. Temperate forest is found closer to the equator than boreal forest, but outside of the tropics. This biome is made up mostly of deciduous trees, which bear large leaves that famously turn red, yellow, and orange in the autumn, before shedding to the ground and regrowing in spring. There are noticeably fewer larger mammals in temperate forests, but thanks to an increase in precipitation and milder temperatures, all kinds of amphibians and reptiles finally come out to play. One of the most common families of primary consumers in this biome are deer. Moose will venture into the temperate forests, but smaller species such as white-tailed, red, and seeker deer are much more common. Stalking the deer are large predators such as cougars and timber wolves. Cougars in particular have a massive range from the temperate forests of North America to the tropical forests and grasslands of South America. Black bears are also present in the temperate forest, where they spend a great deal of time snacking on berries and tree shrubs. Smaller mammals such as badgers, hedgehogs and tree squirrels are common in the forests of Europe, while chipmunks and raccoons are found in North America. Similar to the den of a fox, badgers live in underground networks of tunnels called sets. They spend their days digging for earthworms and various insects and are also known to hunt other small mammals, birds and amphibians. Tree squirrels and chipmunks are from the same family, Cyuridae, and are well known for gnawing on nuts and seeds which they collect and bury in the ground. Red pandas are arboreal mammals endemic to the temperate forest regions of the Himalayas. They are unrelated to the giant panda, but also feed mostly on bamboo. Koalas are found solely on the west coast of Australia. They sleep for 20 plus hours per day and spend the rest of their time slowly traversing the forest canopy feasting mainly on eucalyptus leaves. 
The birds of the temperate forest are plentiful and range from pigeons, robins and tits to jays, warblers and hawks. Although pigeons are most well known for eating bread in city parks, the pigeon family Columbidae is one of the most varied bird families in the world and is found on every continent with the exception of Antarctica. Robins are inquisitive birds who exhibit a beautiful red plumage on their chest and face. If you listen carefully, males and females can be heard warbling to each other before sunrise during the breeding season. Garter snakes are found throughout much of North America, where they hunt amphibians, lizards, rodents and even slugs. Insects are also plentiful in the temperate forest biome. Many species of the order Lepidoptera use the underside of leaves to lay their eggs, which transform into caterpillars and eventually blossom into multicolored butterflies and moths. Amphibians such as toads, frogs and salamanders enjoy the damp forest floor where they search for insects, spiders, snails and worms. Commonly known as rainforest, tropical forest is famous for its biodiversity. In fact, the world's top three most biodiverse countries, Brazil, Colombia and Indonesia, all contain vast swaths of tropical forest. These hubs of biodiversity receive the most precipitation of any biome and are found in the tropics between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Tropic of Cancer. Both tigers and jaguars are well known for calling the rainforest their home. Tigers are located in Asia in the tropical forests of countries such as India, Myanmar and Indonesia. Jaguars are located in the Americas, from the jungles of Mexico to the Brazilian Amazon. These incredible felines are terrifyingly agile and are known to hunt caiman on the banks of the Amazon. The world's largest snake, the anaconda, is also known to hunt caiman, as well as wild pigs, deer, smaller mammals and birds. They can measure up to 30 feet and weigh up to a staggering 550 pounds. Although not exclusive to this biome, the range of the primate family is very similar to that of the tropical forest. Of the great apes, chimpanzees and gorillas inhabit the rainforests of Central Africa. Gorillas are the largest of the primate family, weighing up to 600 pounds. The docile orangutan is found on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra. Their diet is made up mostly of fruit, which they will supplement with leaves. The tropical forests of the Americas are home to New World monkeys, including capuchins, tamarins and howler monkeys. The primary consumers of the rainforest are an odd-looking bunch. Anteaters and sloths are both from the order Pelosa, from the Latin word pelis, which means hairy, and are found only in the Americas. Sloths travel at excruciatingly slow speeds of up to 13 feet per minute, which oddly enough protects them from predators such as jaguars who depend on movement to spot prey. Tapirs are another odd-looking mammal who live in the tropical forests of the Americas. They eat fruits, leaves and berries and are known to eat up to 85 pounds of vegetation in a single day. Parrots are one of the most widespread and varied families of birds found in the tropical forest ranging from macaws in the Americas, cockatoos in Australasia, and lovebirds in Africa. Macaws are a group of New World parrots who are famed for their bright plumage. The rather unimaginatively named blue and yellow macaw can live for up to 35 years in the wild. Lovebirds are a group of Old World parrots known to form strong monogamous relationships between mating pairs. They have green plumage on their body, with facial plumage and beak varying in colour between species. While many of the other biomes we have discussed are not overly hospitable for reptiles and amphibians, these creatures thrive in the tropical forest biome. Snakes are perhaps the most well-known reptile in the rainforest and can kill their prey in one of two ways. Pythons and boas, including the aforementioned anaconda, will initially bite but kill their prey by constriction. Other species of snake will kill their prey with potent venom, including the green mamba and various members of the bush viper genus. Insects are another group of animals that flourish in the rainforest. Butterflies are plentiful and are found in a variety of colours and patterns. One of the most interesting insects of the tropical forest biome is the praying mantis. These small creatures are known to camouflage exceptionally well into their respective environments, a trait they use to ambush and witting prey. Grasslands are characterised by wide open fertile plains filled with various species of grass. Although trees can grow here, they do so individually, not grouped like forests. Grassland is found on every continent and accounts for roughly 25% of the world's landmass. It is split into two main types, tropical and temperate. 
When I think of tropical grassland, also known as the savanna, I envision Africa. Herds of wildebeest and zebra trekking from the Serengeti to the Maasai Mara while dodging lions and crocodiles. But tropical grassland is also found throughout South America, Australia and as far north as Mexico. The savanna is a striking yet brutal place. Predators include lions, cheetahs, hyenas, African wild dogs and giant crocodiles. African wild dogs are the largest wild canine on the continent and specialize in hunting antelope. They have patched white, black and tan fur and are found mostly in sub-Saharan Africa. Clans of spotted hyenas, whose range almost exactly matches that of the savanna, roam the tropical grasslands of Africa in search of prey which they have been known to steal from other predators. The herbivores of the savanna are among the most well known in the world. Dazzles of zebra graze the wide open African grasslands alongside buffalo, wildebeest, gazelles and giraffes. Unfortunately, rhinos are one of the most threatened animals in this biome. The two African species, the white and black rhinoceros, are listed as near threatened and critically endangered respectively. Elephants are the largest extant land mammal on earth, weighing up to 6.9 tons. They live in family groups known as herds, led by an older cow known as the matriarch. Although not the largest crocodilian, Nile crocs can weigh over 1,600 pounds and are known to take down almost any mammal in this biome, including, on occasion, the black rhino. The smaller reptiles of this biome include various species of lizard and snake, such as the African rock python and the black mamba. The black mamba is one of the most infamous snakes on the planet, but they mainly hunt birds and small mammals such as rodents, bats and bush babies. Representing the insects of the savanna, this biome is home to over 1,000 species of termite, and although these tiny creatures would be difficult to spot on their own, their mounds can reach almost 30 feet in height. Feasting on the termites are birds such as the lilac-breasted roller, which has a beautiful green, blue and purple plumage and can often be found in mating pairs. Larger birds of prey in this biome include vultures, buzzards and eagles who soar over the open grasslands in search of prey. The fauna of the Australian savanna includes some of the most unique animals on the planet. Indigenous to Australia and New Guinea, kangaroos are the largest of the marsupial family and can reach speeds of up to 70 km an hour, which is a little faster than an emu, the second largest bird in the world. Known as steep in Asia, prairie in North America, pampas in South America and veld in Southern Africa, Temperate grassland sits at roughly the same latitude as the temperate forest biome. The nights and winters in temperate grasslands are frigid, and thanks to the lack of coverage, many of the animals here have thick fur to stave off the cold. Although there is some crossover of the fauna from the tropical grasslands in Africa, the largest predators that occupy the rest of the temperate grassland biome are coyotes, foxes, and smaller felines such as the pampas cat. Coyotes are somewhat similar in appearance to a wolf, but much smaller, with the average male weighing up to 45 pounds. They are native to North America, where they prey upon deers, rabbits and hares. The Corsic fox is a majestic looking creature who inhabits the steeps of Central Asia. They occupy the middle of the food chain, being preyed upon by wolves, owls and eagles to name but a few. The largest of the grazing animals to occupy this biome is the bison. These gigantic bovines can weigh well over 2,000 pounds and spend most of the day munching on grass. Smaller grazers include gazelles, wild horses and guanacos, which are found in South America. The Shavalski's horse, also known as the Mongolian wild horse, is a hardy species found in Mongolia. Taxonomically, they are considered to be the last wild horse separated from all other breeds of domestic horse, which are a single species. There are many smaller mammals who call the temperate grassland biome their home, including polecats, skunks, badgers and prairie dogs. The black-footed ferret, also known as the American polecat, lives in the prairies of North America and almost exclusively feeds on prairie dogs. They are part of a larger family of polecats, which also includes the marbled polecat, the steep polecat and the European polecat. Prairie dogs are part of the squirrel family and are vital to the ecosystems in which they live. As well as being an important part of many predators' diets, many other animals use the burrows created by prairie dogs for nesting. Blackbirds, sparrows and quails are some of the smaller birds that occupy this biome. 
The sparrow family is split into two main groups, Old World sparrows and New World sparrows, which contain almost 200 species in total. Birds of prey, including hawks, falcons, kestrels and eagles, also call the grassland their home, preying on small mammals, reptiles and birds. The eastern imperial eagle can be found throughout much of Asia, where it breeds in the grasslands of the north before migrating south for the winter. Desert accounts for around 25% of the world's landmass and is characterized by extremely low precipitation and high temperatures. Some of the most well-known deserts include the Sahara in Northern Africa, the Mojave Desert in America, and the Great Victoria Desert in Australia. Many plants in the desert, including cacti and various types of bush, exhibit spines or wool, which shade the surface of the plant, reducing the loss of water via transpiration. The animals of this biome have evolved to cope with the low levels of water, and many animals here are nocturnal, only coming out at night when the temperature is lower. The camel is perhaps the most famous desert family and is split into three species. Both the Bactrian camel and the wild Bactrian camel are found in Central Asia and have two humps. The dromedary camel, also known as the Arabian camel, is found in the Middle East, the Sahara Desert and Australia. The Arabian camel is particularly adept at surviving in the desert environment, fluctuating its body temperature and reducing perspiration to last up to 10 to 15 days without water. Other larger mammals of the desert include the Adax antelope and mule deer. The predators of the desert biome include various species of feline and canid. Both the cougar and the bobcat inhabit various biomes but are known to hunt for rabbits, hares and other small mammals in mountainous desert ecosystems. Canids include various species of fox and coyote. The fennec fox lives exclusively in the Sahara Desert and is known for its large ears which can measure up to 4 inches long and are used to dissipate heat. Smaller mammals of the desert include hares, rabbits, the kangaroo rat, gerbils and meerkats. The kangaroo rat is so named due to its bipedal movement. It has large hind legs which can be used to leap distances of up to 9 feet. Meerkats are found in the deserts of southern Africa in complex social groups of up to 30 members. They feed mostly on butterflies, moths and beetles and also use burrow systems to escape the desert heat. Reptiles and invertebrates famously occupy the desert biome and range from scorpions and spiders to lizards and snakes. Rattlesnakes are a member of the pit viper family and are best known for vibrating their tails serving as a warning to the unwitting passerby or a predator. The scorpion family have eight legs, two front pincers and a large tail with a stinger at the end. They primarily live in desert ecosystems but also exist in many other biomes south of the tiger belt. The spiders of this biome include tarantulas, the black widow and the wolf spider. The desert isn't home to as many birds as other biomes such as the tropical forest, but those who do abide are hardy and distinct. Roadrunners are a member of the cuckoo family endemic to North America. They are omnivorous, eating both plant matter and a variety of insects, reptiles and small mammals, and can run at speeds of over 40 km an hour. Another interesting desert bird is the burrowing owl, who are present throughout much of the Americas. They steal the burrows of animals such as prairie dogs and use them for nesting and protection from predators. There are many species of insect that exist in the desert, from ants, bees and beetles, to grasshoppers, butterflies and moths. Viceroy butterflies are known to exist in the desert biome where they mimic another species, the monarch butterfly, as a defense against predators. This type of mimicry is known as malarian mimicry, where two equally well-defended species mimic each other's appearance to their mutual benefit. In the case of butterflies, this defense is a foul taste. 71% of the Earth's surface is made up of water. The aquatic biome contains two main types, marine and freshwater, distinguished by their concentrations of salt. Those who live under the surface, such as fish, whales and squid, are not the only types of animals to be classified as existing in the aquatic biome. Both marine and freshwater biomes are home to a tremendous amount of birds and many other types of animal whose aquatically inclined evolutionary path make them just as much a part of the aquatic biome as their distant water-dwelling relatives. By far the largest biome of any on the list, the marine biome is classified as any body of water with a salinity of over 0.5 parts per thousand. There are three main types of ecosystem within the marine biome. 
ocean, coral reef, and estuary. Estuaries are bodies of water that form transitional zones between freshwater and saltwater ecosystems. The brackish water found therein has more salt than freshwater, but less than seawater. Coral reef ecosystems, known as the rainforests of the sea, are created by colonies of coral that usually grow in warm, shallow water and play host to an incredible amount of biodiversity. Finally, the open ocean is home to the largest animals on the planet, including 200-ton whales, 5,000-pound great white sharks, and a 1,000-pound squid. The infraorder Cetacea contains most of the well-known aquatic mammals, including whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Unlike most whales who eat fish, plankton, and algae, killer whales, also known as orcas, are apex predators who hunt in groups and will prey upon seals, other species of whale, and many species of fish. Manatees, which are also known as sea cows, are herbivorous mammals that eat over 1,000 pounds of grasses, algae, and weeds each day, around 10 to 15% of their body weight. Pinnipedia is another group of marine mammals that contains seals, sea lions, and walruses, mostly found in the frigid waters outside of the tropics. The southern elephant seal is the largest of this clade and the largest marine mammal outside of Cetacea, weighing in at a hefty 7,000 pounds. These gigantic seals are found only in the waters surrounding the Antarctic, where they prey upon fish and squid at depths of over 3,000 feet. The walrus is another iconic pinniped species and the second largest overall. They are found on the opposite side of the planet to the elephant seal, in the waters of the Arctic Circle, where they spend a great deal of their time on land searching for mollusks to eat. Representing the ocean's reptiles, sea turtles are a superfamily of Cryptodira, a suborder containing the world's tortoises and turtles, and contains species such as the hawksbill, leatherback, and green sea turtle. Hawksbills are found in the shallow coral reefs of the tropics, where they feed mostly on sea sponges, making up around 70 to 95% of their diet. Saltwater crocodiles are the largest of the crocodilian order, measuring up to 20 feet in total length and weighing almost 3,000 pounds. They are found in the brackish mangrove swamps of Southeast Asia and Northern Australasia. Fish are divided into three groups, chondrichthys, osteichthys, and the smallest of the three, agnatha, also known as jawless fish. Chondrichthys are cartilaginous fishes whose skeletons are composed primarily of cartilage. They are mostly marine species and include sharks, rays, and skates. The most feared of all fish, cartilaginous or not, the great white shark preys mostly on marine mammals and has no known predators other than the orca. Growing up to 30 feet in length, the largest of all sharks, the whale shark, is much more placid and can be found in the tropics feasting on plankton, fish eggs, and krill. Batoidea is a superorder of chondrichthys more commonly known as the ray family. The manta ray is the largest of this family and, like the whale shark, is also a filter feeder. They are found in tropical waters where they feast on zooplankton. Osteichthys are bony fish that have skeletons comprised primarily of bone. This group is the most diverse, containing over 28,000 species. The moray eel is a carnivorous predator that preys on small fish, octopuses, and crustaceans. Clownfish are a particularly beautiful species of reef fish. They can be found swimming in between the tentacles of sea anemone with whom they have a symbiotic relationship, providing each other with many benefits including protection from predators or parasites. Other examples of bony fish include tuna, swordfish, and the giant ocean sunfish, the largest of all bony fish, weighing over 2,000 pounds. The invertebrates of the marine biome range from crustaceans such as lobsters and crabs, to cephalopods such as octopuses and jellyfish, bivalves such as mussels and oysters, and coral. Octopuses have eight limbs called arms, which they use to walk on the seafloor and forage for food. Each arm is covered in suckers, which they use as grip to either secure their position or move other objects. Coral is perhaps the most inconspicuous animal on Earth. Often confused for a plant, coral are marine invertebrates with tentacles, mouths, and a digestive system. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest coral reef system in the world, stretching over 2,000 kilometers off the northeast coast of Australia. There are many birds that have evolved to thrive in the marine biome, sporting thick feathers and boasting a variety of fishing techniques. 
Puffins are split into three species, all of which reside in the Northern Hemisphere. They live in rabbit burrows on the edges of cliffs, where they breed and fish for herring, sand eel, and capelin. Blue-footed boobies are found on the west coast of Central and South America and sport colourful blue feet which develop thanks to the pigments found in the fish it eats. Other examples of marine birds include albatross, gannets and penguins. The freshwater biome is characterised by a low level of salt and can be broken down into three main categories. Ponds and lakes, streams and rivers and wetlands. Ponds and lakes are commonly isolated from other aquatic ecosystems and therefore often lack a large amount of diversity. Streams and rivers transport rainwater from regions of higher altitude to the ocean. They contain their own unique fauna and also act as migratory paths for animals such as salmon. Wetlands are shallower bodies of water that support the growth of plants such as lilies. There are many wetlands that are not considered true freshwater ecosystems due to their high concentrations of salt. The fish of the freshwater biome are significantly smaller than that of their open ocean cousins. Examples of freshwater fish include trout, pike, bass and catfish. Piranha are omnivorous fish that live in the Amazon basin in South America. Although they are touted in Hollywood films as extremely dangerous to humans, they mostly feed on other fish, insects, worms and crustaceans. There are also many species of fish that live in the sea but migrate through freshwater rivers and streams to breed, such as salmon and trout. Bears take advantage of the salmon run each year and will wait at waterfalls to catch the salmon making a dash for their breeding grounds further upstream. Ducks, swans and geese are members of Anatidae, a family of water birds containing 174 species found on every continent with the exception of Antarctica. Like ducks and geese, swans are mainly herbivorous feasting on the roots, stems and leaves of aquatic plants. They form strong monogamous bonds with their mating partners and can be often seen floating gracefully together in lakes and rivers. Other birds of the freshwater biome include pelicans, kingfishers, herons and osprey. Kingfishers are also found on every continent and sport colourful plumage, often found in vibrant blues, oranges, reds and yellows. As their name would suggest, many but not all species of kingfisher are adept at fishing, but their diet also includes amphibians, worms, insects and spiders. Many mammals have also evolved to thrive in freshwater. Capybaras, otters, beavers and river rats are just a few of the species that abide in freshwater ecosystems. The giant river otter is the largest member of the weasel family and can measure up to five and a half feet. A social animal, they live in dens on the banks of rivers and lakes where they prey mostly upon fish such as piranha and catfish. Although some species of frog have adapted to reproduce without a body of water, most amphibians start their life as larva laid in freshwater known as tadpoles. Bullfrogs are large frogs known to be particularly aggressive, often preying on small rodents, other frogs, spiders, lizards and much more. The axolotl is a species of salamander native to only two freshwater lakes in Mexico and unfortunately is on the brink of extinction. Also known as the Mexican walking fish, the axolotl is carnivorous, feeding on insects, mollusks, worms and other invertebrates. The reptiles of the freshwater biome range from members of crocodilia such as crocodiles, alligators and caiman to turtles and snakes. Cayman are found in swamps, mangroves and other freshwater ecosystems in Central and South America. Preying mostly on fish, they are the smallest of the crocodilians, weighing up to 90 pounds and measuring no more than 13 feet. Imididae is a family of turtles found in the freshwater biome, more commonly known as terrapins. The pond slider is a species of terrapin endemic to the southeastern United States. It has three subspecies, the most recognisable being the red-eared slider, which has a small red stripe around its ears. Many insects use bodies of fresh water to lay their eggs, including dragonflies, mayflies and mosquitoes. Dragonflies are a family of territorial flying insects containing over 3,000 species. They perch on plants overlooking sunlit shallow waters where they prey on other small insects. Water striders, also known as Jesus bugs, are another family of insects containing 1,700 species who use their hydrophobic legs to help them traverse across bodies of water without breaking the surface. Other freshwater invertebrates include leeches, crayfish and freshwater crabs. <laughs>